Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. We are here again making another fun video. Today we are making a video about uh, YouTubers trying on wigs. And today we have yet again Mia Maples. I'll probably do like three of hers and then move on to somebody else. But today Mia Maples is trying on wigs from the RuPaul line. So we're going to check that out. I'm pretty curious to see how these wigs are going to look. I haven't watched this video actually, but if anybody knows how to make a wig line, it should be RuPaul. So I'm excited to see what she has, what she does. I don't have the best feeling about how they're going to look because they are sold at Party City. Uh, if you don't know what Party City is, it's like a costume. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap costume shop. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be quite interesting. I'm not sure the prices or anything like that, but I'm sure we'll get into it. Let's say um, right now. Let's go. Oh, <clears throat> hi. All right, everybody. I'm super excited. We got Mia pulled up here. She's looking beautiful as always. Love you, Mia. Um... And I think let's just let's just start having a good time making fun of some wigs. I actually don't feel bad making fun of these wigs uh, because this person should know how to do them. I'm a f actually a fan of RuPaul, so I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to send her hate. I just want to... Um, I'm just very curious because her job is to judge people's wigs. Well, I mean, their overall performance, costume overall drag but uh part of that is wigs so let's see let's see if she lives up to what she reads all the queens for he's not big but he's bold so these are the born to shine eyelashes the oh, slayer eyelashes, eyelashes and the hey baby doll eyelashes this Those packaging nice. is so iconic so rupaul so colorful just like the main stage oh, on rupaul's crazy. drag race so i love it and oh it's like looks just like the workroom colors actually but yeah this isn't the part of the video i just wanted to show you guys these because i'm really excited about them hopefully in future videos i will use them you guys well will those see look more. pretty nice okay but now to the main event of this video i have one two three, oh my God. five wigs to try on. Oh, look five, at this okay. packaging like look how colorful and how fun these wigs are like i'm so excited to see how they are i hope the quality is good i've actually had like party city wigs in the past for Halloween costumes but I've never actually thought to wear them out and about or anything like that so we will see what I type why. of wig this by the way these were about I think around 50 to 70 dollars each so they aren't your usual okay, like, so costume wig that is like 50 to 70 so we'll see if the quality is the same sort of thing the last video we watched, we saw her try on wish wigs. And remember, she spent less than 20 on, I think she tried on 10 wigs and she spent less than $20 on most of them. I know that one was more, the lace front was more, but they were all under $20 and she said these were 50 to 70 So RuPaul, they better be good. Thing, but look at this <laughs> look at this wig this is like no wig i've had i'm very curious after it being in the package okay so we got rue in a wig on the cover something she would never actually wear on the show i don't know about you guys but to me that doesn't look so great it doesn't look so great it looks 90s um Olivia Newton John style tease. If it will have this whole like side the style design. isn't even great. RuPaul modeled all of these looking amazing as always like literally yeah, she does so look good. amazing. All right, so here is the box that it comes in and then it just opens up kind of like a shoe box. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. Look at this wig. Look at this color. It looks like a lot of it's hair. It's like a blonde and then like a caramel blondish brown mixed in. And these curls are so intense. And look at the front. Look at that. Not quite a lace front. Not at all. Oh my gosh. And the cuff <laughs> just stays. Okay, and then this hair down here is in a a tie so i'm not sure if i'm supposed to undo that she's not sure but she's gonna do it anyway based on the picture oh my god we just <laughs> oh, no. so much hair 
You know what? I'm gonna put my hair into a right, what? Here we go. In the world is going on. I'm trying to remain calm. Hold on. I'll back up a little bit just because this wig is so bodacious, so big <laughs> that it does not fit. What is this? What is this chunk here? Okay, I'm trying to look at this picture and no. it's close, but there's something I need to do. I think this big puff like right on the front needs to get pushed off to a side. Push so way maybe back. It's off to, maybe it's off to. See, I'm guessing it goes off to this side because this side oh, yeah, it does back. Look, yeah. Like that. Okay, let me grab a little pin. Okay, I'm just going to try and push it over because it's supposed to be a side swept away wig. The insane part of all of it is like, this is how I look. And like, this is how RuPaul looks at this. Like, because if that isn't alarming, that's not even I don't the know same what wig is. That because RuPaul like, has on in that picture. so good. And then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am. The thing is, is that sh you can tell that she wants to like it so bad because she's a fan and she's a nice person. But like, look at that. She looks like a she looks like a 90s country singer. And I don't I'm not trying to be mean at all. This is like all in good fun. <laughs> but it is kind of like I, I'm, I'll be the voice of reason in all of this because Mia, bless her is just too nice and loves rupaul and everything rupaul drag race so like especially with that like bright pink lipstick she looks like um she's about to do like a 90s workout video a little conflicted just because i am conflicted. so surprised with what Are this you? looks like i mean i totally thought looking at this picture that it was going to be very extra and i knew there was going to be a big poof here but this poof is way bigger than i expected like oh too big my goodness maybe if i just like there's a huge like piece of poof in here like look at this like when you actually dig in here why do i love it like honestly why am i enjoying this so much like why do i feel like this is awesome honestly i cannot wait we are starting off with such a bang look at this wig show the back also i should mention too that this video is i think this video is like a year old and she's done a lot of wig videos since this so i think this is one of her like beginning ones so the fact that she's like super impressed by the styling of this wigs have like come such a long way in such a short time now i even think that this is bad for the timing that this came out but she also hasn't seen or hasn't owned wigs like super nice wigs she will like after this video she gets so many so many cool wigs like but she also spends some some money but she gets so many cool wigs after this so the fact that she's like kind of hyping it up i think part of it has to do with the fact that she's not as experienced here as she is now but once you like pull these little curls down like hide it a little bit i think like this side is like a lot more acceptable like look at that do i not look like i'm from the 80s let me know yes. down below what you guys think i should do for like makeup and outfit with this it's almost like i want to do like an elvis thing i don't know why actually because... i don't know why this is why okay so now that we've done a really natural a subtle blonde moment we're gonna do something a little bit more extra and we're gonna go on into this teal moment Ooh. this is rupaul teal the show so like steal teal the, show. the show oh my goodness look at this it feels like i just pulled like a giant poodle off my head so <laughs> this one looks like it might have a more natural looking hairline because it kind of looks like on the front it goes yeah. forward a fair bit every flip over like when i flip my head is just very overwhelming now you always have to remember right when you take it out of the box like it's been in the box a long time okay so just give me a second to try and control it i feel like brushing it out just a little helps rupaul's okay is, like, very swept back like right now my bangs are very much going forward, i actually kind of like, like that, that look it's kind of cute and i kind of like it but like i that definitely too. think i should do it as it's intended so it's weird though because it doesn't feel like it's like gonna do it it looks like i have like the receding hairline of a lifetime right now oh my gosh this here's the comparison. she looks cute like that okay. actually i so think here's rupaul 
and here I am. Color is very, very close. I would say mine's a little bit darker. I think I picture, like the but color. That could just be like the flash picture when taking this. Oh. But oh my god. I think I actually like the color of the wig more on her than on the box. I think that it's like a little bit dustier and it's like a little less shiny than the box. Plus, I think the curls on her wig are nicer than the one on the box. So the last one I think was better on the box. I think this one looks better on on her. I think it looks actually pretty good, uh, especially with her makeup and her lip color and her white t-shirt. I mean, it's a little Smurf vibes, but I think she looks great. Gosh, it's just as big. Look at this. If anything, my curls look a little bit more curled or like a little bit more brushed out. Why do yeah. I why do I love it? Why are wigs just like so it for me? I just think it's so so <laughs> fun. Look how big this is. She looks is so too, cute. Guys. Like this is a huge set of hair. She's so I love tiny this too. color with this lip. It's so <laughs> it's so much all at once and I just like I'm screaming. I it's love everything. It. They hold their form which I almost feel like is really good. Like when I push this back, it's going to like stay back rather than like falling like normal hair would like it feels like it already has like three cans of hairspray in it all right the next one we're gonna try is this rupaul lavender beau fantastic beau fantastic why have i never heard that wig and now this one rupaul is loving this okay we now. got rupaul it's this lavender looking a little crazy purple, completely swept to one side wig i have no wigs like this Again, the yellow and purple packaging in this one is very, very cute. Very I don't pretty. have high hopes Actually, for this one. Actually, very cute, very pretty. Not the right descriptors. It's just so extra. She looks so cute in that is. blue hair. Oh my gosh. Such a pretty color. Look at these colors together. Yeah, that looks cute. So pretty. Like, these are such fun wigs. Like, you can just tell that when RuPaul was making these, he was just like, like, let's just go all out. Like, let's do fun colors. Because a lot of times RuPaul will be wearing that, like, golden blonde signature wig. Like, what she created was so, so different than what she always wears on the RuPaul wears normally blonde, big, beautiful wigs. She doesn't make them. She has like a whole team of people behind her which is great i mean cool but if those wigs were on sale they're probably thousands of dollars and i'm not joking they're probably thousands of dollars most of them i've seen a couple questionable ones but most of her wigs are super super expensive and actually know the company not know them i've <laughs> I by no I mean I used to follow them on Instagram but I used to like really pay attention to what they were doing because they were killing it but they were charging so so much and rightfully so like they were all hand styled wigs but there's no there's no way that that could be sold at Party City is what I'm trying to say like to mass produce that it just doesn't make any sense. So the, the fact that she's like changing up her vibe to sell a wig line makes sense because she wants to wow people with color to distract from the quality of the wigs. I didn't say that. Show, which is so, so fun. Like, look at this. Okay. I'm going to put it on. It's got another huge poof like the first one. We got a big puff Yeah, right this here. one I'm not oh too... Uh, it's happening to me look at this you roll up like this your hairline is a seven head oh my gosh what I was this supposed head. to look like i need to analyze and like try and make this work all the wigs so far have hid the fact that my hair is all blowing out the sides but this one oh. is really showing it so i might have to just redo this all right let's try this again based on your opinion which way do you think my hair wants to go because there's a lot home this way your hair wants to go home this way Oh, maybe it's this way, actually. Okay. Well, that was Back in the bag. This might be the first one that's a little bit difficult to manage. Okay, I think that this is seriously, like, as good as it's gonna get. 
I look like what you expect versus what you get. Like maybe I just don't have the expertise to make this look correct, No girl, don't get down on but yourself. But it looks a little crazy. Look at the color. The color is absolutely stunning. I don't think this style is it for me. And I don't like the hairline. Okay, the next one we're gonna try. This is more the typical RuPaul gold blonde wig. This is the polished platinum wig it looks like it's gonna be really like windswept back all right let's see so if i take this and just that's like more of like a dolly parton right looking wig what it's another one of those puffs like in the lavender one a big puff of hair that's just been like teased and teased and teased and teased push it in the right direction which is back apparently all right and on to the last but very not least <laughs> the last but certainly not least there you go this cotton candy cough wig coif wig not sure, but this one looks very very pretty like if it even looks half that good i'm sold okay let us in here this is a quaffed wig i think is what it said quaffed means like teased new color i have so many wigs this color i just absolutely love this strawberry pink okay let's shake another it a color but i do <gasps> like that this color looks like it's gonna be another really really big puffy Ooh, one. That looks look at that awesome. that is so pretty okay let's Throw it on, I'm excited for this one. This one looks like it's got the same idea as the blue one, like it wants a lot of the hair to go off to the side. Oh my gosh, I think we might have finished off with a bang. Here is what it's supposed to look like, and here it is on me. I look like a pink poodle in the best way possible. Yeah, that's cute. I love this. This reminds me so much of the blue one, but it's like shorter and it's pink, which in my eyes makes it better. I love the pink. I love how full it is. I always see uh, drag queens wearing wigs like this, and I yeah. always wanted a wig that was like nice and full like this. And now I have one, and I just don't know what to do about it. Like, what should I do with it? I definitely have to do a look around this. All right, you guys. So that has been trying well. on all of the wigs <laughs> that RuPaul. All wore right, Mia. Thank City. you so so much. I am so much. happy. You look beautiful in. A couple of them. I mean, you look beautiful anyways, but a couple of them were questionable. And I think the only ones I really liked were the blue one and the pink one. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for coming back and watching a video with me. I had so much fun watching Mia try on wigs. She's like super entertaining and cool. I wish I was that entertaining and cool. Like, she has her stuff together. Like, all of her videos are super well thought out. Like, very generous. She's always, like, very complimentary to her audience. So if you want to check her out, I definitely recommend it. She does, like, a bunch of different types of videos. It's not just wigs. She does, like, her own crafts. She um does like home makeovers like diys shopping like she does so much stuff and she's like super fun to watch so i definitely recommend checking her out i always have fun watching her i watch her every time she posts and yeah i had a i had a great time i hope you guys had a good time too i'll like i said i'll probably do one more from her and then move on to somebody else i do have somebody in mind actually i know who it's gonna be and she's super funny i don't even know if i can like keep up with her sense of humor but i'm really gonna try because i really want her on this channel not that anybody is even watching these videos but I just like think that it would be cool. So anyways, make sure you like the video if you want. Um, feel free to comment if you want. If you didn't like the video, that's cool too and you're welcome to dislike it. But if you did, please share it with your friends and please come back for my next video. It's going to be super fun. So uh, I hope to see you there and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, well, bye-bye now.